Now the Z. Everyone's mind is, can Shannon Miller, the five-time Olympic medalist, be beaten in this competition? Well, the only way, Dwight, for Shannon to be beaten is for her to beat herself. As long as she hits all of her routines, it will be impossible for the other competitors to pass her up tonight. She will be hard-pressed by Americans Amanda Borden and Amy Chow, and also Cuban gymnast Anya Portuando. But if Shannon hits her routines, it will be impossible again for the competitors to pass her. Should be a very, very interesting night of competition. Let's get right to the action. Up first, we have Shannon Miller on the uneven bars. Shannon's going to start her routine with a big release sequence. Here she goes. Excellent. Anna Ginger, excellent job on that release sequence. Is she ready for a second release? There we go, reverse heck. Now she's preparing to finish her routine. She's doing a great job on this routine. Really, there are no technical errors. Just has to stick to dismount. Oh, an excellent dismount. Just a little step on the landing. It's a great beginning for Shannon Miller, the overwhelming favorite here at the Pan Am Games to the individual all-around title. Here's Shannon on a replay again of her release sequence. She does a great job on both releases. That's a release sequence taken from the men's competition. Shannon does it even better than the men. Here's her dismount. Actually, just a little step on the landing. But Shannon tries to cover it up from the judges. And Shannon's score, 9.875. That's going to be a difficult score for anyone to beat on this event. An outstanding start for Shannon Miller as we now switch to the floor exercise. And Amy Chow, who is new to this level, Steve. Here's Amy. She's going to open up with a very original skill. Amazing. Oh, she steps out of bounds. But it was an amazing skill that Amy did. That's an Arabian double front with a half twist. Never done before in women's gymnastics. And he's now moving on to our next tumbling pass. If you look at Amy, you would not assume that she has such great power, but she is a very dynamic gymnast. There she is for a second tumbling run. And she does a good job on that. A little loose on the legs, but she moves through it very well. Amy's preparing for her dismount. She has a very difficult dismount of the maximum value of difficult. Really, there are no technical errors in her dance. She's doing a great job. Getting her leap series and meeting all her technical requirements. And here comes a dismount. A great routine so far. A big dismount could help her in the all-around. Oh, and a stuck landing. A great dismount, a front through to a triple twist, performed better than anyone in the world. So Amy Chow, except for that little step out of bounds, an outstanding routine on the floor exercise, and asserts herself here in the all-around. It's definitely going to hurt Amy that she went out of bounds on that one tumbling run. But here we see the dismount again. And watch that stuck landing. Extremely difficult to do at the end of a routine. And Amy's score of a 9.575 reflects that step out of bounds. Amanda Borden of the U.S. now on the balance beam. Amanda has been very consistent on the balance beam in most of her recent competitions. She really needs to be consistent here today in order to place in the all-around. An excellent tumbling run, a slight wobble. She's going through all of her requirements. Excellent leap series. It's one of her more difficult skills. Front tuck. Oh! That's going to cost her four to five tenths of a point. It's almost the equivalent of falling off when you put your hands down on the balance beam. Let's see if she can get through the rest of this routine without mistakes. Usually it's very difficult to regain composure after a big break like that. But she's doing an excellent job. She's not holding back. If Amanda continues to be error-free in this routine, she's going to get a respectable score. Slight break there. She has a couple of required leaps still to complete in her routine. And then she'll prepare for the dismount. She's a very difficult dismount series. 
Here she goes. A great dismount. Amanda really regained her composure to finish that routine. It's really a shame the bobble that she had about one third of the way through the beginning of her routine. Amanda has been very consistent on the balance beam lately. Here we see that major break again. She has a front somersault, lands with her feet square. Oh, she's slightly under rotated, takes a step back and has to put her hand down. It was a very good save. This will possibly allow the judges some leniency. Oh, and her score of 9.425, that is a generous score. Now we move over to the floor exercise. Anya Portuando of Cuba, who is a major player in this all around. Anya opened up with a great mount. She's really known for her dynamic power. She prepares for a second tumbling pass here. It's typically a front tumbling run for her. And here she goes. Very well done. She's preparing for a dismount at this time. In her last few required dance elements. Her leaps are also very dynamic. Hitting every position very well. Now she prepares for the dismount. A full twisting double back. Very well done. A slight step on the landing, though. A very high. Anya Portuando, five-time Cuban national champion with an excellent floor routine. Here are the standings after one rotation. We'll have more women's individual all-around gymnastics a little later. Her first vault of the competition. Amy's going to do a round-off entry vault here. The half twist in a layout position, and she takes a slight hop to the side. Still a very good vault, and a vault at the maximum difficulty level. Amy comes off the horse. A slightly piked position and hops to the side. 9.725 for Amy Chow in the first vault. She gets prepared for her second run. Amy's going to do the same vault for a second run. She comes off the horse with a slight pike and hop. It was a definite improvement over the first vault. And Amy's score of a 9.75 reflects the average score of her two vaults. Next up is 17-year-old Amanda Borden from Cincinnati, Ohio. She's preparing for her floor exercise routine. She's one of the team leaders and had this to say about some of her younger teammates. For them, this is their one of their first bigger international competitions, and I think they look for us for, you know, um, may, maybe a few little things that give them confidence and help them. It's great to hear that at 17, Amanda feels some responsibility to our younger U.S. competitors. Amanda begins her floor routine with a tumbling pass of the maximum difficulty level. And here we go. Arabian double front and the perfect landing. That's as well as Amanda's ever done that skill before. She gets some of her required skills completed. And here's her second tumbling run. Two and a half punch front to an excellent landing. Amanda's really on. These are some very difficult tumbling passes in her routine. Again, Amanda's fulfilling some of the requirements, some of the dance requirements of the routine. And some of her own personality as well. Some extremely high leaps there. And she prepares for her final tumbling pass. This is going to be a front tumbling sequence. And it usually does. And punch front. Oh, she goes out of the area and takes an extra step. That will be one-tenth of a point deduction for stepping out of the area. Here's Amanda's second tumbling pass. A round-up back handspring, two-and-a-half twists to a punch front. This pass is very consistent with the other passes in her routine. It's a shame that she stepped out of balance. That's really going to hurt her score. Shannon Miller up next on the balance beam. Oh, and she's already down off the balance beam. Dwight, this is the third competition where Shannon has fallen on her best event, the balance beam. 
it's really got to shake her confidence. She's going to need to finish this routine flawlessly to stay in the hunt for the all-around title. Now Shannon's meeting some of her requirements, and she's working very well. Nor the visible deductions at this time. Here's her tumbling series. Wow, done perfectly. This says a lot about Shannon Miller. She's a true competitor. Even that fall has not shaken her confidence. This skill is called the Miller, named after Shannon internationally. Shannon's working very well, finishing her routine. Now she prepares for her discount. This gave her problems in the team competition. Full twisting double back and an excellent landing. Only a small hop on that landing, but the big problem came on the mount. On the mount, Shannon just missed grabbing her legs. A possibly her hand slipped off her leg, and she's down off the balance beam. What a great champion to have recovered so well to finish the rest of her routine almost flawlessly, but the disappointment is all over her face. 9.4 on the balance beam, that could compromise her chances of winning the all-around. And here's the person who could step in, Amy Chow of the U.S., on the uneven bars. Amy begins her routine with a stalder sequence and a skill that really gets the audience excited. Here's Amy's big release. Pike Yeager, and another flip down to the low bar. Excellent sequence. Amy's now preparing for her dismount. It's gonna be a double twisting double back. And a stuck landing. She's the only gymnast in the world currently competing this dismount, and she does it flawlessly. Amy Chow of the United States stepping up where Shannon Miller left a boy. When we come back, we'll have the conclusion of women's individual all-around right after this. Stones along with Steve Butcher, and that's a good trade. Mihai Baju gets a box of popcorn for a pin and an American flag. Now let's take a look back at the demise of Anya Portuando of Cuba on the uneven bars. Anya was leading the competition after the second rotation over all the U.S. gymnasts. She was working very well in her routine. And on this release, right here, she had a mental lapse and let go of the bar. Now take a look at the disappointment on her face. She didn't even want to continue. Anya is the five-time Cuban national champion who came in tenth at last year's world championships. She knows as a veteran gymnast that you have to forget about falls and faults and continue with your routine. As we can see, those things are still on her mind and she overshoots her hands again. Works out of it, though. I was up very well in order to finish her routine. That's just the dismount left. And an excellent dismount to a stuck landing. A good finish and a little too late. Absolute disaster for Anya Portuando, opening up the door for the three U.S. gymnasts. We see Anya's release again. She has her hands on the bar perfectly, but just a mental lapse. Look at that face. She still can't get it out of her mind, even though the routine is over. And Amy Chow there in the forefront knows that she has an opportunity ahead. Shannon Miller now on floor exercise. This is usually a great event for Shannon Miller. She hits all of her positions very well. Good first tumbling pass. Full twisting double back in a pike position. Combination front and back tumbling pass there. And Shannon is working very cleanly as she always does on the floor exercise. She's currently meeting all of her dance and leap requirements. Very high leaps for Shannon as usual. Here's Shannon's third tumbling run. A very well done front tumbling pass. Shannon's unique to most of the gymnasts in this competition in that she has four tumbling passes. 
Very difficult to do four tumbling passes in the amount of time given on floor exercise. She's preparing for that last tumbling pass. Has to be on her mind. It's a full twisting double back coming up. Little dance breather in the corner. Full twisting double back. Oh! Extra step and she steps out of the area. That's going to hurt her score. To Shannon Miller, a number of mental lapses in this individual all-around competition as we prepare for Amanda Gordon on the uneven bars. At this point, the U.S. is 1-2-3 going into the fourth rotation. Amanda is excellent on the uneven bars. She's great at hitting all of her handstand positions, as we see. First release. She's working error-free and policy at this time. And here's her second release, the first heck. Everything is going very well for Amanda. Third dismount, double front flip, and a great landing. Amanda Borden, second going into this final rotation, scores a 9.825, putting a lot of pressure on Shannon Miller. Here's Shannon with her first ball, and the hop on the landing. It's important to mention that Shannon's faults are only worth a 9.8 value. She was having some problems in the training with a 10.0 value ball. You see her first ball at the same hop on the line. A 9.675 for Miller. She'll have to improve on that on her second ball to stay ahead of Amanda Borden. Shannon with the same ball. And a better landing. Shannon and her coaches played it safe and perhaps smart, choosing a 9.8 value ball since she was having problems with the 10.0 ball in training. All right, here is where the drama builds. Amy Chow is the leader going into the fourth rotation. She must get a minimum 9.475 on balance beam in order to beat Shannon Miller and Amanda Borden for the individual all-around title. Amy has one of the most difficult balance beam routines being done in the world. And you will see why as her routine unfolds. It's her meet to win or lose, and I'm sure she is feeling tremendous pressure at this time. Amy has a chance to upset the current and reigning world champion, Shannon Miller. First tumbling run, oh, a wobble, and she puts her hands, and a second time, she puts her hands down on the beam. That's going to be a five to six tenth deduction. Amy still has a chance to win the all-around, though, but only if she completes the rest of her routine flawlessly. Full twisting backflip, one step. That is one of the more difficult skills when you come on the balance beam. He's completing some of our other requirements. She has another very difficult element in her routine. Let's see if she chooses to keep it in. Here's what she does. Full twist to a straddle deck. Done extremely well. Amy prepares for her dismount. She does a tumbling series into a triple twist. Here we go. Triple twist. And a good landing, but that one step on the landing would be crucial in the all-around competition. Amy Chow, choosing not to play it safe, drops from first to third on her final event but it's still an American sweep for the seventh time in Pan Am Games history. That's all for tonight from gymnastics. We'll be back tomorrow night with the men's individual apparatus finals. For Steve Butcher, I'm Dwight Stone.